like heavy spoilers. You won't after this crap. So the Snyder Cut trailer is online now, uh, and I thought I'd go through it and just break down everything that you need to know about it. There's a lot to talk about, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. Obviously, heavy spoilers here. We will be talking about big parts of the movie and leaks on what's going to be happening in the script. So if you don't want anything ruined, which I don't want to do, I don't want to ruin this for you, then make sure you turn off now. Anyway, thank you for clicking this. Sorry, I, I just found one of my mum my and dad's old masks, so I thought I'd put it on. Let's get into the trailer anyway. That David played, and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really. Okay, so at the start there, we saw Uaxis, who's a younger dark side. I hate, hate saying that word because I always think I've pronounced it wrong. But yeah, nice little start to it. And obviously, Superman dying at the end of Batman v Superman there. Really appreciated that opening. And here we have the Justice League Hall. Um, you've also got Aquaman's trident there, and this has been taken over by Darkseid's forces. Now, obviously, this is the Nightmare Vision. So glad that this has been brought back so that we can finally have some closure on that thing that was in Batman v Superman. When that happened, a lot of people were kind of like, right, well, what does this actually mean? Really glad that they brought this back. So basically, what Zack Snyder was going to do was make a five-film arc, which was Man of Steel, uh, Batman v Superman, Justice League, and then Justice League Part 2 and Justice League Part 3. And in that, they would go and fight the forces of Darkseid. They would lose. Uh, this is what would happen. The Nightmare Vision would come true. And then Flash would travel back in time and change things. Nice that they've stuck with it. Really, really appreciate this opening. Careful music, do you? And obviously, Hallelujah is playing as well from Watchmen. A lot of people don't like that scene in the, the film. But I, I think it's alright. Nice piece of music here. It goes like this The fourth, the fifth, the minor Okay, and that's good that Wonder Woman's actually went to find the spear because in just the Justice Cut, she just saw it on the news. This is a bit more dramatic, and I will say from the off, just the way this is shot, it looks a lot more engaging than the Justice Cut. Just the way that everything sort of pieced together, the, the way the camera moves... Zack Snyder, you know, say what you like about him director-wise, just not around me, but say what you like about him. Um, as far as being a cinematographer goes, I think the guy is near unmatched. The way he, he puts images together, the composition of them is absolutely brilliant, and it's great to see that in effect here. The fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major. And there's Bruce Wayne looking over a hologram of Superman. Obviously, this was in the original trailer that we saw years and years ago and he's just kind of formulating a plan i think at this point they've lost so he's, he's really digging into it like he's scanning superman's biometrics to see if there's any way that they can revive him and there's aquaman obviously he's just dropped that guy off he's taken his drink he saved his life And there's Victor Stone um, playing for the Gotham Rogues. The Gotham Rogues were obviously the football team in Batman v Superman. What happens here is basically uh, Victor's parents were meant to go to the game to watch him play because it's quite a big game for him. I've just realised how ridiculous I look in this match mask. Anyway, <laughs> go to the, go to the game, see what's happening, and Victor wins. He looks around to see his mum and dad if they're cheering for him. Just sees his mum. His dad's at the, the lab building killer robots again. Luckily, though, it comes in handy, which we'll get into in just a bit. So Victor basically has an argument with his mother on the way home about, my, my dad's always at the lab building killer robots and I never get to see him. Victor's mum's like, well, you know, we, you might need those killer robots one day. They crash the car. His mother dies. Victor also dies, but his dad resurrects him in the form of Cyborg. So there you go. And there's his mother there. Superman in the black suit, yes! Diana talking to the school kids that she just saved, and look at how good this shot looks. You know, you compare it with anything from the Justice League with the CGI mustache, which I should have shown up rocking. Much, much better. Massive, massive improvement. And there is Flash, of course, saving Iris, and I think this is how the two actually meet. 
Um, we did, of course, see this in the trailer as well. And it's good to see it popping up back here. Brilliant scene in which Flash is moving so fast. Um, basically, the way Flash moves when he navigates the Speed Force is he, he can also vibrate his body. So it is possible that if he touches glass, it vibrates and then shatters. Good to see that here. Boom. Wouldn't be caught dead riding in that. Yeah. Wasn't Wouldn't be called dead smashing up someone's grave. Now, I'm guessing that the way there's two gravestones there, that might be, spoiler alert, his mother and father. Um, his father does later get killed in the film by Steppenwolf, and he's obviously taken it out on the grave. And you know what? I've, re I've realised this film, we pretty much know most of the plot for it, and there's still spoiler warnings. This is how hyped I am for this movie. Wasn't much. Uh, Batman shot from the original trailer. That was, of course, changed for the Justice Cut. Don't know why they changed it. Looks much better. I couldn't feel, so I tried. And there is our Martha, also the name of my mother, um, and Lois Lane meeting. So what's happened is Martha's been evicted. She's going to see Lois. Lois is like, get your ass out of here. To touch. Oh, she's not. As Aquaman's trident and meeting with Amber Heard. Ooh. Hiss. Ooh. And there's your axis again, and it looks like that's Steppenwolf. Now, what happened was they obviously tried to invade Earth. They were stopped by uh, the Greek gods, the forces of the Shazam wizards, also apparently popped up Green Lanterns. And Steppenwolf went home defeated with Darkseid. He looks like he's sort of being outcast here and his entire motivation in the movie is to basically win his way back into Apocalypse. And it, he does, he looks really defeated here. He looks a bit like me with this stupid... I'm actually wearing a barber's cape over my head now, so no expense spared. As Cyborg, um, he's obviously dealing with the fact that he's made from a mother box. We do remember in the Superman fight, he can't control his arm. Sometimes I can't control my arm, you know what I'm saying? Let's tell the wife that. Uh, and here he's clearly stuttering again. There's Superman as he exits the thing. Now what happens here is basically Batman didn't use Lois Lane as a weapon in, <laughs> in the original Snyder Cut. In the Justice Cut, yeah, she was there pulling out the big guns. Um, what happened was she basically visited Heroes Park every day to see Superman's grave and she was passing again and seen him in the air. And that's why she ran to Heroes Park, not because Batman wanted to put her on the front line. And now they're trying to crack the mother box. And there's Silas Stone. Um, he's obviously been caught in the chamber and this is when the character dies, unfortunately. Spoiler alert. I mean, not really a spoiler, because they show him sort of getting Dr. Manhattan out of there. So, you know what? Take back the spoiler warning. <laughs> Themyscira and Steppenwolf landing, of course. <laughs> Much better design. Thousand times better. <laughs> and that looked like it was the Speed Force there, actually. Split second, man. <laughs> Yeah, so you, this is obviously when Flash goes to rescue um, his father and the captives. I think it is. I'm saying obviously, not a clue. Uh, but yeah, you can see the Speed Force demonstrated really well here. Oh. Yeah, excellent cut there. Superman just punching Steppenwolf. I like the way, uh, and you know what I did like in the Justice Cut, how Superman just shows up and cleans house. Bang. Batman's taking shots there. So his, his arm is very bulletproof because he's getting shot several times there. Damn. Uh, and that is Flash. I think he's breaking the speed force. Yeah, this is a much more emotional scene, isn't it, than what we got in the Justice Cut. That, that shot instantly looks better. Um, that was when Cyborg is basically going through his programming to see what he can do. 
He's sort of discovering his powers and he realizes that because of his abilities, he has access to all of the weapons on Earth. Um, this is obviously a massive amount of power for someone who's just playing for Gotham City University. Sorry, not not the Gotham Rogues. And he, he wipes it he swipes it away though, and it shows he's got a good heart. He's not out for power. That looked like it was the King of Atlantis. And I'm guessing that's the battle at the start. We haven't I don't remember seeing him in the fight. You, no, he wasn't. He wasn't. He was cut. And then he popped up in Aquaman. So, yeah, great. Uh, that is Cyborg saving Mark McClure, who played Jimmy Olsen in the original Superman movie. And his cameo was changed for the Justice cut. He became the security guard at the prison that Flash, when he was, you know, right in the pen, he scribbled on that guy's face. He was the security guard then. Originally, though, his cameo was to be a policeman at Heroes Park. And he had a lot of interactions with Lois Lane. Uh, so that was obviously cut, but it's back. And there's Flash running through the speed force and cracking the ground as he runs. Runs a bit funny though, doesn't he? And there's the league. Amazing. Much better. Going home. Wow. So it is going to be called the Snyder Cut. These guys probably fought hundreds of thousands of other super beings on the other planets. He's destroyed, right? And we have to assume he's won. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us. Not us united. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Really hype with that. Um, so hopefully, yeah, it's, it looks like it's going to be amazing. Obviously, I'd love to hear your comments. So let me know if you like my mask as well. Uh, make sure you check out our breakdowns from the rest of the day. We've got the Suicide Squad trailer. We've got the Wonder Woman trailer. Lots of stuff to talk about. And the Batman trailer coming very soon. Much love and thanks for sticking with me. Cheers.